So yeah, welcome to my episode today of my weekly update. Uh, it's Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone. I have I have a lot of dinners and uh, good meetups with people. <laughs> so um, beautiful people maybe, I don't know. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And uh, I don't think that this uh, piano star here, that she is famous because she's beautiful. She's actually a very, very good pianist when it comes to jazz improvisation. I don't like everything she does. She also, for example, has a queen medley, which I feel is not that good. But if you want good Christmas background music, I think this is ideal. Like, like this, this... This playlist is really, really good. Yeah, but I'm I'm also a uh, kind of jazz blues fan for background music. Okay, so that's that. And then I also have another suggestion. So if you are, let me stop this. If you are a <laughs> diehard fan, Actually, it's a pretty good movie. So I watched it yesterday uh, with a friend of mine. We had pizza for our Christmas Eve and we watched Die Hard. And it's a it's it's an incredibly good movie. And uh, there's actually an interesting channel that is called Vsauce 3. So it deals with science. It's pretty well established in the YouTube universe. Um, and... He always makes these really qualitative videos and asks, like, how scientific are actually these movies? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a bit cheap. It's It feeds from the success of another movie, but it's really well done and entertaining. You know, I came here for a Vsauce Christmas party before robbers held everyone up and ruined it. Anyway, I was able to make off with this walkie-talkie so I can communicate with a police officer outside. Hey, how's it looking out there? Uh, it's Ian from Smosh. Ian? Yeah. Um, so a lot of collaborations <laughs> with other YouTube job, channels. Yeah. Adsense, That's uh, pretty interesting. Got kicked out of Google Preferred. Uh, nevertheless, I really recommend this channel. So uh, you, you don't see that here so much right now at the beginning. Uh, but it does good experiments. It also has veritasium in there sometimes. So he has interesting other collaborations but that's not the point the way i found him i actually watched mad max again and i think the mad max trilogy i'm fascinated by it i don't think it's there are the best movies but the universe they create it's really good and just look like so he made a video on could you survive mad max and i watched it and i was like is that a movie it's so well done I mean look look at these look at these shots. Like the colors, the colors are extremely well made. You have these cars in there. So this is the level of YouTube production right now. Like they they basically Yeah. What you see in movies could be real. So I mean, look, that's the level of YouTube production right now. It's like, it's like in a sense, way better. I mean, I was really like, is that actually from the Mad? Are these scenes from the Mad Max movie Fury Road? It could be. So and yeah, uh, I really, I really recommend this channel. It's highly entertaining. One of the best channels that I found so far. Could you survive movies? That's always a question he has. Okay, then another recommendation that I came back uh, the recent days again is Nathaniel Drew. And Nathaniel this is a story Drew about making friends, which I've come to discover I, is remarkably not straightforward. I always found him a bit cringy. I've struggled with this a lot. But it's a struggle he has. In my life. A struggle this goes as, far as a YouTuber. Who, frustration. who's hungry for connection and frustration, who tries to find friends, and who doesn't really face the existential burden of our life, that there is no 
immediate meaning that we can just receive. If we want meaning, we have to create it. And I think many people try to find that in friendship, which may not be successful. It's very interesting. I read with my students in a German literature class the diaries of Anne Frank. Anne Frank was the Jewish girl that hid with her family during World War II in the Netherlands in a very tiny room, actually two families. And in the end, they were reported and deported uh, to a concentration camp and killed. And the text we had in the textbook, it didn't talk at all about the German society or anything that was related to the Nazis. It was just her making an entry about the two great loves of her life. And she was 15 years old at that time. So you may say, yeah, great loves of her life at the age of 15. But I think that these feelings can be genuine in the way of how they appear. They may be misread with regard to who we are as feeling human beings. So overall, the whole text just speaks about how much she loves these boys in a fairly exaggerated ma manner. And the question that I ask my students, I mean, we, we deconstructed and reconstructed the text. The questions that I ask was, what is indicating that she is in a really bad situation in that text? They couldn't tell. They thought it was just a love text. But I think the exaggeration of seeking out for somebody else to take away the pain that someone has is an expression for the fact that someone deals with way more severe troubles. And I think when we watch at Nathaniel Drew here, he made a really good episode about finding friends, finding the right people. And it's quite aesthetic and it's it's good storytelling. I think he does not really go into deeper detail. But, but it's well done. It's good storytelling. So mm -hmm. I, I recommend this channel as one of the better channels. There's also another interesting story. But really cool people in the most unlikely of circumstances. This is everybody's favorite part. Also, also a bit cringy. He asks strangers on the street if they would come with him on a journey. And the way he asks them is a bit cringy. I mean, he asks them, please come with me the next day. And uh, it's good storytelling, though. And I liked it because um, uh, this is a spoiler. <laughs> if you want to watch it, then don't listen. Um, but he went with them together to a dinner in one of the best restaurants of the world. It was the best restaurant in 2019, elected to be the best restaurant. So, and I enjoyed, so I enjoyed the story actually very much and I recommend it. So now my, my, my mouse got frozen here somehow. That's not good. How do I get back to my original screen to pause for a second? Okay, I'm back. So yeah, that's just like an introduction of another YouTuber that may or may not be worth watching. Not a strong recommendation, but a recommendation to follow the YouTube universe. What may be more important is the question of a stock market crash. And what many people didn't observe is that the stock market actually crashed. Why? Because the S&P 500 and the... Uh, German DAX, for example, or the MSCI world, they are just going higher and higher and higher. And that is because the big companies, which there are Microsoft, Apple, uh, Amazon, Tesla, 
they just went from one high to the next high to the next high. And nobody realized that at the same time, or not nobody, but many didn't realize that at the same time, all the mid-cap companies and the small-cap companies actually crashed. And so this may be a very good opportunity to go right now into the market because after a crash, is before the crash, but I mean, after crash is always a good opportunity to buy cheap companies. Maybe not China as I did uh, because the Chinese companies, are, it may be questionable whether they go higher or go to a highs again. That's a more risky strategy. I mean, I keep my Chinese stock, but it may be interesting to consider to buy into the stock market right now, especially maybe in tech companies and maybe in companies that still have promise. So, okay, you always have to say that this is no financial advice and that that is just my personal opinion. But a good uh, video blogger that I found on that is actually uh, Daniel Pronk. I mean, there are so many out there, but this video here analyzes already on December 14th. So if that the stock market crash has already happened. If you're like me or a lot of other investors out there who are not heavily invested in the top five or 10 companies in the S&P 500, then you're probably noticing that your portfolio is quite red on the month and has probably been bleeding for quite some time. I mean, stocks like Trulieve, Corsair, Tattooed Chef, The Lending Club, Palantir, SoFi, and even PayPal and Shopify are down so much in the past month. It really looks like there is a full-on stock market crash going on inside of the stock market, but when you take a look at the S&P 500 or the Dow, you don't really notice it at all. So in today's... Yeah, so in this video, you can have some suggestions, some personal opinions uh, on what may be good investments right now. So uh, it's certainly interesting if you are um, a stock market investor. Okay, so thank you very much. This was my update. Uh, I try to keep it below 15 minutes in the future. Uh, let me know if you liked it or not. Leave it in the comments. Subscribe. All, all the stuff you should do in order to support someone. Uh, if you don't do it, that's also fine. Um, I just say live long, uh, merry, merry Christmas and prosper.